past month, I need you to give him a praise. Like, praise. I'm so grateful that this series was placed on the heart of our vision for us to execute. Uh, it's that, that the anointing has been palpable. Yes. Yeah, obviously, it's the anointing close from the head to the beard yeah. to the skirts of the garments. Yeah. Uh, so, can you help me celebrate the bishop? That anointing is so powerful. Thursday, uh, Bishop Sean Tyson called me and said, I won't be able to preach at this conference. Can you go preach for me in Bakersfield? I reluctantly agreed, and I'm so glad I did, because when we got down there, the same anointing that was on covenant got people filled with the Holy Ghost. As the Spirit gives utterance. That's Friday night. I'm not done. Uh, a Jewish young man walked in the service this morning. Come on! Come on! I said, I said Jewish. Yeah! Uh, first time in the church, he looked at me so thoroughly while I was preaching, I made eye contact back with him. And as soon as the altar call popped up, he jumped up, when he got baptized in Jesus' name. And then filled with the Holy Ghost. I submit to you this morning that anything, that anything that God wants to do, He can do. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. So, Minister Purple, let's do it like we did last All time. All right, I'm going to stay on standby right. because, uh, yeah, we did. Okay. Well, there's somebody's going to be playing the audio today. I don't know who. Pastor Pope came to 9 a.m. Everybody in your section is home. Today's your day. Today's your day. Today's your day. Tell somebody next to you, you picked the right seat today. You picked the right seat today. Matthew, the third chapter. I felt depleted. I'm so grateful to have a wife that will come in the office and pray for you. So if you don't preach a word like that, I gotta pray that you get refilled and refilled. Yes. <laughs> Matthew 3, verse number 11. Uh, read the whole passage. Promise me you'll do it. Uh, read those preceding 10 verses. But for sake of time, I just want to tag the text. Verse number 11 says, uh, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me Jesus. is mightier than I. Yes. Whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Jeez. Ghost and with fire. I want to culminate this series. I preach it to you from the subject Ignite the Fire. Ignite the Fire. God bless this word. I pray for you that you will ignite it. God, we don't want to just be transformed uh, through emotion, but transform our hearts, transform our minds, yes, transform our spirits. Yes, Lord. And then if we have an emotional response, we're cool with that. Lord. Yes, God. We're not so much concerned about shouting yes. on Sunday as much as we are about living right on Monday. Thank you, man. God, God, God. mature us, develop us. Yes, God. Uh, bring uh, the mature saints to a whole yes, level up today. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated in God's house. Ignite the fire. Uh, the book of Revelation is a interesting study. It was written by John the Revelator, uh, not John the Baptist, uh -huh. but John the Revelator when he was on the island of Patmos. Uh, John the Revelator, he writes seven messages to seven churches. Yeah. Uh, many theologians, uh, they suggest that the seven messages match the seven dispensations of time. Just like you have seven time periods, there are seven different churches. Uh, the first yes. one is the Church of Ephesus. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. The Church of Ephesus was, um, 
God's word is going to bless you. Bless your uh, name, Jesus. It's going to be more than that, too. Uh, bless your Ephesus name, is a church Jesus. who had forsaken their first love. Uh, they, for, they forsook their first love. And the Lord told them, what I need you to do is go back and do your first works over again. Wow. He said, if you don't, I'll remove your candlestick yeah. out of this place. Uh, the second church, the church in Smyrna, and they were known for that they would undergo persecution. You missed me. I said the church was told beforehand that you will undergo persecution. Uh, the next church, the church of Pergamos, he says, you have held a doctrine of Balaam who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block to the children of Israel and to commit fornication. He implores them, repent quickly. With all the churches, he gives them space to repent. The church of Thyatira, he tells them, I know about your charity, I know about your service, I know about your patience, but you allowed that false prophetess, yeah. Jezebel. You let her creep in the church. And as a result, she's going to be left to her own devices. Sometimes the worst punishment is when God gives you what you think you want. Woo! Maybe at 12 o'clock, y'all don't have a whole lot of time. Let's just get down to business. Uh, you don't know, you was in the club and you saw somebody who was attractive. Uh, but on your way over there, a scrub intercepted you. you missed it. Uh, and you don't know that even though the scrub wasn't all that, the scrub was sent by God because the one you wanted to get to uh, was infected with HIV but didn't even know it. Had you not got intercepted, you might have got what you thought you wanted and then received something you didn't want to have. Sometimes I don't praise God for what he gives me. Sometimes I praise him for everything he blocks. Yeah. Uh, when you hear about my cute little discourse, we give God a shout for what he blocked in 06. Yeah. For what he kept you from, that you wanted to tip in, and you would still be addicted to it had he not blocked it. Uh, the church of Sardis, they had fallen asleep. And he says to 